Uh oh. Let's try this one more time. It is Saturday. Uh, it's kind of cold. And I'm going to run to the store, grab some stuff for breakfast. I'm going to show you what's funny, though. Apparently, I was the only one that got the memo about the garbage cans because everybody else took them out and none of them got picked up. All right, so it is, it is cold. This sucks. <clears throat> Feels too early to be this cold. Oh, luckily, the car has heated seats, which is nice. Heated steering wheel. Turn it on. that down for a minute all right so let's talk a little bit that, no it didn't matter so here's what I'm thinking for the next for the rest of this month <clears throat> I'm gonna keep eating and doing the same thing I've been doing which is not good not healthy but I'm gonna try to show you guys just how bad it is. <clears throat> I'm not going to try to gain weight by any means, but I'm not going to do anything to try to lose the weight either, not specifically. I am going to keep with the diet sodas just because that seems like that's the first hurdle I have to overcome usually when I start doing weight loss, um, is the regular soda. So, and I know there's a lot of people who think diet soda is bad for you and it could be it might be bad for you i'm not gonna say it's not but <clears throat> the lesser of two evils maybe i don't know so all right saturday i'm gonna run to the store uh the most important thing i have to do today is get a powerball ticket So let's talk about a few things. So this morning went um, like I'm eating normal, like not dieting right now. So went and got some Cinnabons at Saturday morning. Uh, so we all had cinnamon rolls except for Crystal. Crystal's actually on her own diet, which I'll get into a little bit in another video. Um, just kind of letting that get a little further along before I talk about it. I don't want to scare her out of it. So, uh, lunch, I had a bologna sandwich. I've had a couple diet sodas. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. This is kind of typical day for me now. Hurry up and come down and close your door, please. I'm doing a video. Thank you. Thank you. What a dork fish. Anyways, so tonight for dinner, I don't know. It's just gonna be a normal dinner though, nothing special. Um, anything else I wanna disclose with food today? I think that's it. I think that's it for food. Um, so I wanna talk about something that's kind of bugging me. I mean, it, I think it's bugging a lot of people on YouTube and I didn't realize it was this bad until I started doing videos again. I do monetize all my videos, which Honestly, for the most part, it's just more of a curiosity for me. And my video from yesterday got demonetized. But I'm and I'm okay with that. I understand that you know they have to they have to try to meet the needs of the 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 target markets and I think that makes sense. The the actual people who are you know selling advertising, they have to meet the those, those expectations and what they need. Um, it doesn't make sense to market to a group that you're not going to sell to. So I get that. What, what bugs me though is I went to do the option to have them review my content. 
And I was notified, as soon as you click on um, review your, your video, it says that they will only review your video if you have 1,000 views within seven days. And I get it, I get, I know people are thinking, well, if you're not getting that many views, you're not getting that much money anyways, right? And I agree with that, but for people who are starting up, not me, but someone who's starting up to try to do this for money and to get into it, this would be so discouraging to, to know that unless you're gonna be someone who is getting thousands of people viewing your content on a regular basis, you have, you have no way to get any kind of help with with them really reviewing your footage and that that concerns me I think I think that's something that will make people start looking at other options so and I know it's been that way for a while but you're seeing some pretty big youtubers out there with some pretty crazy complaints and getting strikes on their channels and I know if I was in this for the money and trying to make money off YouTube I'd be upset about this so I could see where new content creators who are just trying to get into this would be extremely discouraged by this. So YouTube, what the hell are you thinking? Come on guys. I know you cater to the big boys, but if you don't get some of these little guys coming up, you're going to lose them and you're opening yourself up wide, wide open for another platform to come in and take these guys and put you out of business. So when everybody thinks that, Oh, YouTube is too big to go out of business. Remember Yahoo, MySpace, stuff like that? They go out of business. Kmart, out of business. Radio Shack, gone. It happens. So even though it doesn't really bother, it bugs me, but not a big deal, so. Okay, so for some more exciting news that I haven't told you guys about yet. Um, I start back to college next week. Um, I have a degree in information systems management, but I really want to get a bachelor's in uh, business and project management through, so it's an information systems business project management degree. So I'm doing that, which is going to take up a ton of my time, so videos could be interesting could be really interesting so all right well that's my rant for today uh, if I win the Powerball tonight you guys probably won't hear from me for a while but I'll probably talk to you tomorrow so I know a few of you're gonna like this part so like always if you need help you just gotta ask I think that went pretty well as long as I didn't forget to hit the record button